else I've been doing a bit of shopping over the past few weeks. It was mainly birthday shopping for other people, but you know what it gets like when it's one for you, one for me, and before you know it, you're going to be having a few beans on toast dinners because you bought a lipstick. So I've been to Space NK, of course. Um, I've also picked up some bits from Bum Bum Bumble and Topshop as well. So I'll get started with the Topshop bits first. And I picked up these two things, and they are Topshop eye crayons. I haven't tried that much from the Topshop line. Everyone always goes wild for their nail polishes, my sister included, and she has some amazing shades from them, but I just never think to go in there and pick up makeup. But I did, because I've heard a few people raving about these. I picked up the shade Marble, which is like a champagne-y, shimmery, MAC, all the glitters type shade, <laughs> as everything that I pick up is, and then Rust, which is gold, and they also had a copper as well, which looked really pretty. I haven't tried them yet because I need to take pictures of them, but I tried them in the shop, as did a huge gaggle of girls who were around me who were also trying them out. We were all like swatching them, and they just look really nice, really blendable, and something easy to throw on during the day. I'm all about things being really easy and simple and quick and these just look like you can shove them on the eyelids, maybe blend them out a bit and be done. So I'm looking forward to using these and I'm sure they will appear on the blog somewhere. Then I went to good old Space NK and they are just so naughty because I have one of those indulge cards which is where you get points for all the purchases that you make in there and those convert into money off vouchers and before you know it they email you and they're like oh you have £10 to spend in Space NK and you think how amazing, I'll go there and pick up something, but of course there's nothing for really £10 in there. Although something I did buy was around £10, and it's the Emma Hardy Professional Cloths. Now, I just had really old, scraggy ones that I think I'd got in when you buy the Lizelle Cleanse and Polish, and you can get it in a set with a few muslin cloths, and I just had those hanging around. But they were getting quite disgusting, and considering there's something I use on my face, every single day. I've never tried these ones but I love the cleanser so I thought I'd give it a go and you just get three cloths. I've saved one. It's all cute and packaged and neatly all done and I'll just open it for you but they're really soft on the face. They're just like a mini flannel on one side and then just nothing on the other. They're really soft on the face. I'm not sure if they're particularly worth it. I probably should have just gone to Mother Care or somewhere where you can buy lots of muslin cloths for about tenner and just chop them up and use those. I probably will do that next time but I just, you know, you just have to give something a go. I have to test those out. Then there's two, no, three other things. One of them is the lipstick that I'm wearing today and it's the Laura Mercier Cream Smooth Lip Colour in Arab S and it looks something like this and when I saw it I just thought peachy pink lip perfection or what I can't believe I hadn't heard anyone talk about it it's from their new collection which is very pretty there's lots of pastels and pinks there's a really nice pink and peachy cheek colour as well but I thought I'd go for this as if I haven't already got enough it's very similar to Topshop Koi which is their lip pencil but in lipstick form. It's also pretty similar to Topshop Whimsical as well, so but it has more of a creamier texture. I just got it on the lips today and patted it in because when it was put on opaquely, it was quite, whoa, quite stark, but patted in with a bit of lip balm is really nice. Then there's two hair bits. I'm having a bit of a hair moment at the moment, and there's a few other hair bits as well, actually. The first thing I picked up is the Living Proof Prime Extender. And with this, I was just an advertiser's dream. I saw this advertised in a Lure magazine quite a few months ago, but it's only just been released in the UK. And it's basically a hair primer. There's just a primer for everything these days. I've tested it out quite a few times, and so far I'm really impressed. It's supposed to help you, like the style, stay in your hair longer, and it's also supposed to help styling products that you put on post this to help them stay, like last longer in your hair and just work that a little bit better. I've actually found this to make my hair last longer, so instead of washing it every two days, I can kind of get away with every three when I use this. It smells very fresh and a bit dry shampoo-y, but I'll keep you updated with this one. So far, so good. I thought it was an interesting new product that I hadn't heard of before. So I'll let you know. And then the other thing is the Orbay Dry Texturising Spray. I just picked up a mini one because they're so good for having in your bag. And when the lady like put this through the till, she went, oh my god, I didn't realise it was that price. And I was like, yeah, it is so blooming expensive and I really wish it wasn't so pricey because it's just the best thing I've found for poofing up hair without looking too crazy. I haven't got it in my head today. I'm having a bit of a flat hair day, but this is amazing for just throwing in your handbag. 
Then the other things were from Bumble and Bumble and the main reason for this order was the Semi Sumo new product they've got out which is a high shine low hold pomade. I've used it a few times, I haven't really got to grips with it 100% yet, I don't really use waxes in my hair, it's a, it's a bit, it's like a waxy shine texturising gel almost. I've never really used anything like this before so it's all a bit new for me and I think when I have my hair cut, because I'm having my hair cut again soon, when I have my hair cut again I think when it's a bit shorter it'll work a bit better but it's a bit too long for it now. And then to bump the order up to over £25 because on the Bumble and Bumble website when you spend over £25 you get a free sample thrown in which was the super rich conditioner which I haven't tried yet and um, you also get free delivery so I picked up the deep mask which I've used a few times before and I'm into my hair mask at the moment so this is always fab for just throwing in your bag when you're travelling around and I love how it opens, it's one of those ones where you click up the top and then it all comes out the top which so that is everything, not too much but enough to keep me going for a few months and for me to have to indulge in a few beans on toast dinners. So I hope you like that, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys soon, bye!